So the first thing I do is I publish an, ar an article for my readers every Sunday morning without fail. I publish other stuff during the week, but the first thing I do in that case is I come up with the idea and I begin to write. And it could take me about four or five hours to really distill that idea down into something that uh, flows well on the page and is broken up well and people can actually interact with it um, rather than just, you know, uh, a whole load of text in one single paragraph. So it takes a while to, to produce that article. I do that and then I narrate it uh, for the podcast, which is almost daily. Uh, I use a, an, an iPhone app for that. It makes it very easy, actually. Uh, it's called Anchor. And with the Anchor app, uh, it allows me to record different segments and then stitch them together. So earlier in the day, I might record an introduction and say, hey, folks, welcome to the podcast, etc., etc. Here's what we have coming up today. And I talk a little bit about the subject. And then later, when I have the article written, I'll narrate that as a separate segment. So it's kind of more structured and how, it's, how it is delivered. And then I'll finish off maybe with another segment that closes out the podcast. So altogether, the, the show will take or will, will last about maybe 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, and you've got the article stuck in, in between there. Uh, that's kind of, in very simple terms, that's, that's my process for creating a piece of content, whether it's a Sunday or any other day. Uh, as I say, I write most days. I don't publish every day, but that's kind of it in a nutshell, if you know what I mean. Cool. So we're, we're writing the content, the article, um, obviously spending quite a bit of time on that. And we're repurposing that into a podcast and you've kind yeah. of broken it down quickly on how we do that. Um, are you repurposing that content uh, in other ways as well? Sure. Um, I write on WordPress. I use WordPress, self-hosted WordPress to write uh, my article. And I've got a little plug-in that I use. It's, it doesn't... Um, I don't see it very often mentioned in marketing articles out there, but it's a really cool plugin. It's called, uh, um, oh, what is it? Uh, uh, Tweet All Post. At least that was the old name. I think it might have a new name. Uh, the guys over at Team Isle uh, created the, uh, the plugin. And what that does is it, it tees up every article that I've written and sends it out on Twitter. So that happens. Uh, it goes to the oldest one and tweets it out every couple of hours. So it runs through from the oldest up to the newest. And that, that's a continuous cycle. That's one way I repurpose. Uh, another way is I, I take that article and I bring it over to Medium. You've heard of medium.com, right? Yeah. Uh, so I use Medium. I've got a profile on there and I rewrite the article. So I'll take maybe an hour to structure the article in sli a slightly different way. I'll use a different image. I might change the title. Uh, I'll add a new intro maybe uh, add a couple of links to other stuff that I've previously written on Medium and I'll publish there too. It's the basic same kind of idea or article idea, but it's, it's just giving it to another audience. I think it's important that if we're going to take a piece of content that we've written and we're going to publish it somewhere else, that we restructure it and don't just kind of bang it out there uh, without tailoring it to that particular audience. So I know this takes a bit of time, but I think it's worth it, you know? 